Jack West, MD. I'm an associate clinical professor in medical oncology at City of Hope Cancer Center in the Los Angeles area, uh, and also founder and president of Grace. Uh, Isabel, can you tell us who you are and what you are? Sure. Um, my name is Isabel Preschigal. I am a thoracic oncologist at Memorial Sloan Kettering, and I am very excited to be here today speaking to all of you. And Joan. Yes. Hi, everyone. I'm Joan Schiller. I'm a medical oncologist um, living now in Northern Virginia. I was formerly the deputy director of the Cancer Center at UT Southwestern and also of the Shar Cancer Center in um, in Northern Virginia as part of ANOVA. Excellent. I'm glad to be with you. Turning to small cell lung cancer, uh, one of the agents that was FDA approved in the last year or so is lurbinectidin as a second line or later treatment. There's been some real interest in this and promise um, based on early data, but there was a high profile big study called Atlantis that combined lurbinectidin with an older chemo drug called doxorubicin and compared that to either an older drug that we've had and had no enthusiasm for uh, called Topotecan or a three drug regimen that's used at least somewhat in, in uh, Europe and maybe other parts of the world, CAV, older chemo. And so this is a, 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 an approach we've hoped to replace for a long time. And yet, as you can see from the curves on the left side, I'm sorry, on the right side uh, and in the table, there's really no improvement here. Um, and that's disappointing because uh, we've been stuck in neutral here for a very long time and patients with small cell lung cancer really need more options. So does this kill lurbinectidin for you? The trial, because it combined lurbinectidin with another drug, gave a low dose of lurbinectidin compared to what you do as a single drug. So, you know, are, are you still hopeful? Are you using this as a single drug or do you think this is the kiss of death for lurbinectidin. Joan? Um, unfortunately, I agree with everything you say, Jack. I mean, this is really disappointing. And uh, from my perspective, yeah, it kind of is the, the kiss of death, so to speak, <laughs> for the drug. I would not use it, probably. Isabel, what are your thoughts? And what's your experience, if you have any? Um, I, I think the comparator arm is a little bit, um, a little bit, off also for me. Um, I think I know Topotecan is is an approved agent in this setting. Um, and I don't know if this is just true at Memorial and I don't know Joan and Jack what you use, but we, we use Irinotecan, which I think would have been an interesting arm to compare. Um, this didn't completely kill lurbinectidin for me. I think what this study did while it was not a home run um, was show me that perhaps combination therapy in the second line setting is really where it's at. Um, and I think that um, that it's an option to use lurbinectidin, and I think that there's the right patient for it. But um, but I think it's going to end up being lurbinectidin plus um, to kind of find a great a great therapy in the second line setting. And we're still actively trying. Yeah, I think whatever we can say, it's a disappointment at some level. I'm less inclined to arguably throughout the baby with the bathwater with lurbinectidin. I've had better experiences with it as a single agent, limited, but somewhat encouraging. And honestly, this is a setting where an agent can back its way into use. I mean, uh, as as Isabel said, using Arinotecan is not based on strong, strong evidence. It's, I think the leading advantage of its of various other agents is they're not Topotecan. Um, and so we're still struggling. I would love to see truly compelling data. I don't know if that'll ever come for lubrinectidin versus just having it be an option that, you know, is, is just something to choose from among the many less than amazing options. I hope we someday break through this impasse. I mean, the problem is in the second line setting, there is no good comparative arm. It's no, just not. no and, and I think the trial had to use Topotecan because that's FDA approved. And Irinotecan, I mean, people use all sorts of other things, but it's not based on the strength of the evidence.